hi guys welcome you again to another news it has just been said by the indigenous people of biafra ipod don't forget that this same group has been attacking uh, the self-professed you know uh disciple of inamdi kano simon epa now it has just been said that biafra government in exile formed by self-professed disciple of Inamdikano Simon Epa is a scam. Ignore it. That is what IPOP have told Nigerians. Now IPOP have spoken to Nigerians telling them to ignore the Biafra government in exile that was formed by the self-professed disciple of Inamdikano Simon Epa. Well, we would like you to sit tight as we go into the full details of the news. According to the news, the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, has dissociated itself from the Biafra government in exile, said to have been set up by the group outside Nigeria. Sahara reporters reported a few days ago how the Finland-based Simon Epa who is a self-professed disciple of IPOB leader Mazi Inamdi Kano declared what he called self-activation of Biafra government in exile, BGIE. EPA has said that all the activities of Biafran supporters and agitators were to make sure that Biafra will totally be free from Nigeria in 2023 and forever adding that biafra's final break away from the nigerian government is drawing closer and therefore we also wish to officially announce an alliance and activation of biafra government in exile bg ie with the ipob autopilot however Reacting to the declaration, IPOB Media and Publicity Secretary Ima Pafu in a statement on Sunday described the proposed government as a scam and a trick intended to deceive the general public. Pafu explained that IPOB has legitimate, well-established institutions and a well-structured administrative hierarchy that oversees the day-to-day -day running of Biafra affairs adding that all diplomatic missions and countries of the world know about Biafra agitation and they communicate with IPOB. According to the statement, Pafu said, we the global movement and noble family of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB on the Mazi Inamdikano wish to reiterate once again to Biafrans, friends and Biafra, you know, friends of Biafra, pardon, and lovers of freedom across the globe that IPOB led by Mazi Namdi Okechuku Kano has not set up any government in exile, that is, GIE. We therefore dissociate ourselves completely from the proposed state government in exile. IPOB has legitimate and well-established institutions and a well-structured administrative hierarchy that oversees the day-to-day -day running of Biafra affairs. Already, all diplomatic missions and countries of the world knows about Biafra agitation and they communicate with IPOB as the responsible authority that oversees the affairs of the Biafran people, be it nationally or internationally ipop has international contacts and connection not through any worthless government in exile but through our established institutions and structures so anybody or group pendling or claiming to have set up a government in exile has again embarked on a jamboree like those 
who came before them claiming to have formed a government in exile at one point in time. They simply do not deserve to be given an attention because this is the avenue that the Nigerian government wants us to water down our agitation for total freedom. Powerful stated that some dissidents expelled from IPOP, including a former deputy of our leader, had once suggested this government in exile to our leader, Mazi Inam Dikano, but he did not buy into it, knowing fully how needless it is at this stage of our struggle. But unfortunately, now that our leader is in detention, this same element saw it as an opportunity to actualize their selfish ambition by quickly claiming to have set up and you know set up the non existence GIE. We know that their ultimate aim is to use it to sell the Biafra struggle to our enemies, but they have failed woefully. We know that many infiltrators sponsored by some unfortunate politicians are fighting strongly to sell Biafra freedom through their main infiltrator hiding in Finland. He has run out of gimmicks to stay afloat, hence he decided to resort to the latest claims of Popo State GIA gimmick to deceive his gullible followers. Therefore, everybody should ignore and disregard the Popo State GIA because the motive is ulterior and sinister. Biafra has established and recognized channels. Biafra has established and recognized channels pardon, through which it operates and communicates with world leaders and government without needing or having to call that channel a government in exile. People should stop supporting and making a caricature of the Biafra restoration project by announcing Biafra government in exile anytime they want to defraud Biafrans or sabotage our cause for freedom. We urge the government across the world to disregard and ignore this fraud star claiming that they are forming the Biafra government in exile. This new wind of setting up another Biafra government in exile is a destruction that should not be given any serious thought or attention as it will soon fizzle out like others before it you know before it but it is important that peer friends and the international community are properly you know properly informed does this need to set the facts straight what is your thought to this a lot has been said. What is your own reaction to this plan development? Do you think there is a Biafra government in exile? Just like what Simon Epa has claimed. Or do you think IPOB is right? We would like you to let us know your own point of view to this. I'm sure you want to react to this because most people will see this as a media madness because Biafra government in exile has come to stay and nothing will you know stop it while some people will tell you that there's nothing like the Biafra government in exile can't you see that this is a total confusion we would like you to let us know your own point of view to this we would like you to share it with us via the comment section thank you guys for listening to subscribe to this channel if you have not and i will see you on other news bye for now